It is my pleasure to talk to you today on MR-guided focal therapy of the prostate using cryoablation. MR facilitates ablation by allowing planning, targeting, monitoring, controlling, and assessing the ablation, all with one imaging platform. The true power of MR, though, is the ability to see and target the tumor directly and also to monitor the ablation during treatment to make sure that we not only kill the tumor but also achieve a reasonable margin around the tumor. The three focal ablation treatments that we offer at Mayo Clinic for the prostate include MR-guided cryoablation, MR-guided laser ablation, and MR-guided focused ultrasound. In today's session, we will highlight MR-guided cryoablation. MR-guided cryoablation depends upon the Joule-Thompson effect, where argon gas run through a small needle, produces an intense cold, and ice forms. This ice can be visualized with MRI to a very precise uh, extent. Case in point shown here is a 75-year-old male where on routine physical exam demonstrated an elevated PSA. Subsequent prostate MR demonstrated a visible lesion in the front of the right side of the prostate. Biopsy of this lesion demonstrated a Gleason 3 plus 4 or 7 in the right anterior prostate consistent with an intermediate grade prostate cancer that needs treatment. Patient was counseled on standard therapies such as surgery and radiation, however chose to proceed with MR-guided focal therapy. Here we have the MR images demonstrating a focal lesion in the right side of the prostate, demonstrated by the arrow here on the top images on T2 imaging in multiple planes. On the bottom images, we see there is contrast enhancement, but we can also see this tumor with the specialized imaging of diffusion, where the tumor characteristics cause a limited uh, water oscillation and it becomes visible on imaging. The tumor can be targeted with MRI and then during the cryoablation, we monitor the growth of the ice ball, shown here in black. And we can see its relationship to the urethra, where we have a urethral warmer, and the rectum posteriorly, which we have displaced with injection of saline between the prostate and the rectum. Post-treatment imaging demonstrates a lack of enhancement in the right side of the prostate surrounding the tumor. And this is exactly what we are hoping to achieve because we need to not only treat the tumor, but we need to treat a margin surrounding the tumor to, for effective cancer control. In conclusion, MR-guided ablation of native prostate cancer is feasible and safe in short-term and intermediate follow-up. However, we desperately need prospective studies looking at long-term efficacy and safety. And the MR-guided interventions offer the potential for a more precise targeting and monitoring, but these need to be shown with long-term studies. Thank you for your attention.